Hey everyone, uh, wanted to do a quick video of uh, unboxing the new PlayStation uh, PlayStation 5 controller. Um, coincidentally, I just received this and still waiting for the PlayStation. It's now November 9th. I think I received this a day or so ago. Uh, not only did I receive this a uh, day or so ago, I received uh, the actual media remote about a week or so um, before that. Um, so we'll kind of do a, a combo video on these two and the unboxing of them and what I think of them. Uh, first things first, uh, I do want to point out that the PlayStation remote to me arrived in this exact shape, uh, meaning this tear here and then clearly uh, at some point there was a sticker here similar to what you see on the media remote uh, that uh, perhaps someone removed. Um, this arrived in a box of its own, uh, but clearly it was not sealed or was sealed, but some, someone uh, got into it before I did. Um, so not quite happy about that with Best Buy. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't foresee that uh, PlayStation had anything to do with that. I would presume Best Buy being the distributor of where I bought mine from uh, probably had more to do with it. Um, but without further ado, let's uh, kind of get right into it. So not much to the box itself, uh, just the remote and uh, you know, it looks like uh, instruction manual, warranty manual, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I mean, let's face it, I don't know why you really need this, maybe to sync it, uh, but whatever. All right. uh, the remote comes in uh, this little wrap thing, again, uh, not much to it, just the remote itself. Now, I'm going to bring in a PlayStation 4 remote just for comparison's sake. So, size wise, uh, you know, very close. Uh, maybe a slightly larger footprint, but not by much. Uh, weight wise, there's definitely more weight to this remote than the PlayStation 4 remote. How much? Uh, maybe I'll I'll weigh him. I'll find a way to weigh him, um, just for you know the arguments of this video. But uh, definitely more weight. Um, and I will say it does feel balanced. I don't think people are going to be as opposed to that. Oh, that's weird. It's like some kind of some kind of vibration absorber. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the buttons do feel. A bit smoother, especially the trigger ones. I know there was a lot of talk about kind of this being a pressure trigger uh, on the R2 and L2. Um, the L1 and R1 are slightly larger. Um, the touchpad does seem kind of smoother. Uh, but all in all, everything seems pretty similar. The joystick is definitely smoother. Um, the button here is a little different. The PlayStation button is definitely different. Um, and then as I push it off, it's going to light up looking for PlayStation. But, I mean, candidly, there isn't one. So that shouldn't do much for us right now. Uh, the charging, uh, obviously, I've also bought, I think, the dock for this. Uh, now, that hasn't arrived. Uh, I will point out that from a charging perspective, it does seem to now be a USB-C um, charger. Um, so that, you know, obviously we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm actually going to charge it after this. Uh, matter of fact, I can probably just plug it in now so you see, uh, what the lights look like. All right. Uh, so it is charging now. Uh, has that typical amber glow. Um, and then just kind of fades away. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. Just a quick look at the unboxing of the PS5 remote. Uh, now, let's look at the media controller one and see what it looks like. Uh, so this one did actually arrive sealed. 
So thank you for whoever not for not opening that one. Uh, similar packaging has some kind of white box inside this box. And then same scenario when you open it, it's got that little weird uh, foam thing. It does come with the batteries uh, and the owner's manual. Now I did not opt in to buy the PS4 version of this one because I kind of didn't like the design of it. Uh, but this to me looks very similar, if not almost identical to like say the Roku uh, remote. The buttons actually feel very similar. Um, has some key shortcuts like Disney Plus, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube. The PlayStation button itself does do something. Uh, and then just the typical control. So nothing crazy to this. It is insanely lightweight. Um, and it says there's a push here. Ah, so I'm assuming that's how you open it. Okay, that's pretty neat. I don't think you can see it on the video, but um, right here there's a button that says push. Ah, there, then there's the click. So you have to push this back to get it locked in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, ex uh, roughly what you'd expect out of this kind of remote volume, uh, microphone, source, return menu, uh, you know, and then the fast forward and pause and play buttons. Uh, if you plan on using your PS4 or PS5, I'm sorry, for any kind of streaming services, I mean, I'd highly recommend this. It's not a lot of money uh, and comes in quite handy. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to put all this stuff away since I don't have the PS5 yet. I uh, actually was not one of the lucky ones to make it on the pre-order list, so we'll just kind of fend for ourselves uh, after the release date, uh, which is kind of a bummer because I also have some games I pre-ordered, but hey, you know what? Uh, so is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But uh, as always, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them below, and uh, as always, I'll ask that you please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing your guys around.